Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made a video, but I just wanted to pop in and make a quick um, tutorial on how to recolor something <clears throat> because it came up in the Studio Tool Group. So what you're going to want to do is take your um, original item that you have put a lot of time and effort in. And so like this pink top and what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that top because you don't want to mess with the original and then we're going to go in and edit the top and we'll go into the um, we'll start with the torso layer so I didn't really do a lot of um, hand painting of the shadows. I did some and some highlights on here, but you'll see it's just a really basic one. Um, but what, what you're going to do is go down here to the base color. And if you had done this on a brush, you'd select the brush color. But let's just, for, for this particular instance, let's just say you had a base color on, you know, this layer. Um, what you're going to do is you're not going to click anywhere in here. What you're going to do is you're going to pick the color that you want to switch it to. So if I want it to be blue, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to blue. This isn't really going to do too much here. Um, and as you can see now, all my shadows and highlights are kind of off. Um, so now I'm going to go in the brush layer. Now, I, I emphasize very heavily when you're in a brush layer, the importance of choosing your color here uh, because if you don't do that and say we're in this brush layer right and look the color wheel is not selected say I want to switch it to this blue we're gonna change the um, the brush color to color overlay now the color overlay is then what changes so now like it's in any hue here right um, so I'm going to figure out this brush layer was like kind of like a mix of shadows and highlights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down into my darker blue and sort of adjust it so that I can at least have some, some shadow properties going here. And I'll, I'll hide the pattern for now because it's kind of hard to tell what I'm doing. Okay. So now you can see that that's happened. And then see how in in shadow, I'd already done the color overlay with shadow when I originally done it. So now I just have to switch that down to the darker blue. And then of course I have to go into pattern, you know, and adjust all these colors. change the transparency here so it's not so bright okay and then now I have to go into outline which again is already in color overlay from when I originally <coughs> excuse me adjusted it <coughs> but now for like and then what I could do is I can just copy that all these changes over to the sleeve and then I'm gonna have to go in and modify some of the brushes so this is where I did more paint work so you see in this brush layer I did a lot of shadows in there in pink because my original color was pink. But I'll just go into blue now and just directly from the brush. I'm not going anywhere here. I'm going directly into the color wheel. And then I can I can now adjust it to the, you know, to the appropriate shadow that I want it to be. And then this one I think was an extra brush, so I'm gonna delete that. And then what was this one? I think this is also an extra brush but what I could do here and this is where you might have to do some minor um, you know not super quick changes but if I want to get that highlight back I might have to go in and to go in and kind of you know 
paint it in just a little bit. But at least I'm saving some time. But if you had if you had put your highlights on their own brush, uh, you could just go in and say say you had done like a yellow color um, for this highlight, and now you're in blue, so you want to switch it to blue. Um, well, you could go out of the brush layer, just select it, and then you know now I can just switch it to being you know whatever color I want. So the ticket is to not not select how we normally do down here, but just click on the, the brush layer, and then it'll just kind of quickly adjust it. Now, for something like this fur that's on an invisible detail, which we um, which we acquire by using this square here, so you can see there there is no fabric layer here. So what I would have to do in this instance. So my bottom layer is that brush. I'd have to go in and change that, right? And then this one is some shadows and highlights. So I'm going to lose a bit of that, unfortunately. But um, you might have to go in and just kind of paint that up just a little bit, which is not a bad price to pay. And then this was like multicolors. So what I would choose to do then in this instance is more of like a, a mid-tone. Um, so then all I have to do is really just kind of paint back in. And now I can just make a new brush and then go to the brushes, um, you know, go down here. Actually, I want to keep that. And then now, now I would not click in the color wheel. I would kick, click from here so that I can maintain my color and then this is where you might have to go in and you know add in some some stuff you know I don't think I'm gonna spend time painting this whole thing just to show you guys but um, you get the idea so the really nice thing about switching your brushes and your fabric to color overlay is that you do get a huge amount of work done super fast and then the drawback to that is that then you have to then you need to go in and, and actually manually kind of retouch up some stuff. Which is not really a super bad thing because then at least your recolor garment is going to have some uniqueness from the original. So it's not like a true just cookie cutter in another color. But this is really more like if you have like a, you know, super complex uh, garment but as you can see look at it didn't really take me that much time to kind of restore this and then what I might do is make another brush underneath here and then go into oh it's this one here it's about a size I don't know. and then I'm going to change the opacity and flow so it's quantity of paint and how hard am I applying it which is not I don't want it that hard I'm gonna go I can go in here now and underneath all these brushes look I'm gonna add some some shadows back into that underneath layer so although it doesn't really show up but oh, maybe I adjust it a little bit it's always a journey I'm not a professional it's just, just hobby stuff that I do. There we go. I think it was on top of it. When in doubt, check your layers. It wasn't showing up because it was actually, I was painting underneath that one layer. It's really important to keep in mind. Okay, so as you can see, it didn't it didn't take me very long to adjust that, and then um, I had put these little details on another layer. So again, if I just want to kind of quick do it, I have the brush selected. I'm it, you what you really want to make sure the re, how to get it to work is make sure that there's no color wheel. Then this is showing up as gray, and then go ahead and select your color that you want it to be. 
and then select your color you can adjust adjust its brightness and again like I've lost some details here um, so I might have to just make a new brush layer to achieve some of those, you know, small details that I had made, um, which is not too hard to do. Again, this is, I'm just trying to show you how fast it can be to, to take a garment. And so you're not so afraid to, to dive in and touch your original and just, you know, trial and error, you know, Trial and error, you're just going to have to go in and, um, and you might be wondering why am I clicking away from the brush here because um, if I'm on the brush layer in the brush tool here, this is another thing, um, I, have to, I have to just really make sure that I'm getting this, that it's not the color wheel. Sometimes for me to just quickly shift to make sure I get this selection is just to click away in another category and then come back to brush. Um, but if, you know, that's not necessarily how, if you figure it out, that's great. You don't have to do that. But just always make sure there's no color wheel here. And then go ahead and, you know, select. And again, so um, all very fast. And now I went from, you know, the pink top. Now I got a blue in the same sort of, same sort of vibe. Um, and that's really it. That's all there is to it to change your tops. And then now I go back to my projects, and I have my same shape. I don't have to mess with the shape, and I have two colors you know, two color versions of the same thing. And that's it. So I hope that this tutorial helps. And um, if you have any questions, you can always ask in the Paca Styler Studio group or on Facebook or ask here in the comments. All right, have fun creating.